I'm Roberto Iacona. I'm uh, heading a stem cell group in the cardiovascular and metabolism disease area at Roche in Basel. Together with my team, uh, we uh, take patient IPS uh, derived from different, uh, for different disease indication and then together with CDI we differentiate, for example, the cell cardiomyocytes, then to study this disease uh, in a dish and to use this uh, cellular model for efficacy on new, new compounds. Our mission is really to study uh, this disease, in particular the diabetes type 2 complication, using now the IPS technology that gives the possibility to have the patient background with us in a dish, and then build a cellular model for phenotypic screening, where we can now optimize our compounds on for efficacy. The IPS technology is even offering another level of uh, complexity because we can have now as well a patient background with us. So this was clearly um, the, um, the motivation for us to, uh, um, to invest and to uh, establish this technology because we want to be as translatable as possible to our patients. I believe that using the IPS, the rabbit cardiomyocytes, can be a valuable approach to uh, address this initiative. We would like to discover new medicine for a diabetic complication that affect actually the heart, for example, something like diabetic cardiomyopathy. And to do that, we know that we needed to rely on a model that is as close as possible to our patient. This is why we use a patient IPS derived cardiomyocytes. And this particular model is uh, uh, it's a great opportunity because we can uh, really study the, um, the, the metabolism, the cellular metabolism, how it is uh, correlated to signaling pathway and to the uh, epigenetic landscape as well. The possibility to have uh, patient-derived cardiomyocytes with special genetic background or, for example, it being insulin resistant, give us the possibility to, uh, first of all, understand the pathway that are connected with the cellular metabolism and this effect, and hopefully to find then uh, compounds that can modulate this uh, pathway to restore the right cardiac energy metabolism. I'm particularly fascinated by the fact that we could activate with small molecule uh, endogenous tissue repair and regeneration. And um, I can imagine to have a compound treating, for example, heart failure or uh, ischemic cardiomyopathy where there is a huge loss of cardiomyocytes. These ICEL cardiomyocytes allow us to somehow uh, understand which are the pathways to modulate to achieve this uh, particular uh, effect. And uh, it's clear a fantastic preclinical model to develop such compounds. As many colleagues define it, this is a sort of a, a small Copernican revolution because we can uh, place the human pathophysiology at the core of our preclinical uh, uh, drug discovery approach. And this is very important because this is where the, actually the new medicine has start their journey towards the clinics. And now we have this uh, unprecedented opportunity to uh, test efficacy and toxicity on uh, a patient genetic background. You can really imagine from uh, a clinical trial, you can sample different patients in the future, and then you can address, for example, why the compound work at a streaming well in some patient and why not in other patient. It's a great interaction with the, the CDI team. Um, we really like, uh, they really try to uh, enable us to have a, a valuable and robust cellular model. They are very flexible, for example, when we ask them to generate cardiomyocytes using our proprietary IPS line. Uh, and moreover, they are very friendly as well, so you, you can have as well a chat with them. So it's, it's great, it's a very nice collaboration. The IPS cardiomyocytes is like a, a great revolution for us. There is no really an alternative, so um, it's, it's great that we have IPS derived cardiomyocytes because they are human, they have the genetic background if they come from the patient IPS. They bring these two important points, being human derived and having the patient background.